Low Pier. Hi, Pierre. Good morning, David. How are you, buddy? Good morning, sir. I'm very well. How are you? You know, if I was any worse, I'd be terrific. <laughs> yeah. Right on, man. Thank you so much for reaching out. Absolutely, man. Sorry, I, had, I, I was changing up my uh, my logos yesterday and forgot to change my Facebook one, I guess. So I got to get that taken care of. Oh, is it? Man, I was just about to give you a compliment on this one. Is this not No, no, it's, that's the logo, but it's, we had to change it because of California. I didn't want to get a DBA, so I had to change it to my last name. So it's Pernajad Group instead of Pierre and Associates, but the same way it is. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, man, I really love it. It stands out, man. I, and I see you're with EXP. I love EXP as well. I have a lot of friends with EXP. Yeah, man, it was a good move. Really, really. When, when did you make that move? Uh, just December. Right on, man. Right yeah. on. Right on. So what are, you, what are you up to? How can I help you? Well, I'll share. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've, I've always uh, worked through real estate with a hustle, right? I've never really had a solid process. Um, yes. I did in the very beginning. When I first got into business, I was, I was regimented, right? And then, and then mm -hmm. I started doing a ton of deals. And then I started getting busy with a gazillion different things, right? So now I'm just trying to set in automated processes because I've really ramped up some of my marketing. Uh, I'm doing a lot of direct mail um, mm -hmm. and I really wanted to automate some of the Facebook and I'm using KV core because of EXP Good. Realty. Good. So I wanted to, you know, and previously I had worked with a bunch of, um, you, had, you ever hear of a company called offers? It's like smart zip for the predictive analytics type stuff. No. Anyway, so th they send you stuff of people that are most likely to sell in the next 12 months gotcha. based on habits or this, that, and whatever else. I, you know, if they're real, we don't know yet, right? But what I did is I have that entire database and I made a custom audience with that and then I, and then I did a lookalike audience. And um, Good. I tried to set up a, a, a seller campaign um, to go to a landing page. And then I was watching your video yesterday and I realized maybe the, uh, the landing page isn't, the way I've done it isn't the best, you know, what's your home worth with the arrow going up, this, that, and everything else instead of the whole context, right? With maybe a video or something else, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I also did a, a seller's page and I'm getting some engagement on that, you know, getting, getting some, some people, I, I did it specific for a city to get a list of homes that have recently been reduced mm -hmm. um, and trying to do that. But I just want to make sure, you know, what's the best way of doing this thing and, and, you know, how much time should I really be dedicating to setting up these, uh, this system on, and how often should I be AB testing or changing the ad or doing things like that on Facebook? Good questions, man. Really good questions. And, and to tell you the truth, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a crash course and I'm going to just kind of just give you just 100% of advice based on what I've seen in your market, like as far as real estate agents um, sure. and, and, and just the overall just exposure that everyone's trying to get obviously on social media. But I'm just looking at it from a different point of view because on here, over here on my personal page, for example, Mm -hmm. um, I normally keep it at 5,000, but I'll unfriend, unfriend people that I'm not going to do business with or people that just never maybe reply to my message. But this 4828, again, it's always at 5,000. But since 2016, um, all I've been doing is requesting real estate agents. So 4828, 4,827 of them are real estate agents. That's awesome. So, and, and it's a public list. You, I mean, you can look through every single one of my friends. The only one who's not an agent is my wife. Right. So she's the only one on this, on this whole entire friend list who's not a real estate agent. But the reason why I tell you that is because since 2016, all right, let me kind of just give you some context. I don't know how many of my YouTube videos you've seen, but. Just the one, man. Okay, perfect. So just without, you know, boring you with a long, you know, background story, but I, I kind of want to tell you so you know where, where I'm coming from with this to, so I can answer your question. But I've just been online and just in the field of online marketing since 99. So for the past 20, 21 years, just mastering what it takes to capture a lead on the internet, whether it's driving it to a landing page or a website or a sales funnel. I've been practicing that for the past 20 years. But in 2010 is when I became a lender. So I jumped in the mortgage industry and I was licensed for the state of California, licensed for the state of Washington and crushed it in mortgages here in San Diego from 2010 to 2016. And so it was in that six year period and, and my best friend to this day, he still owns that company. They crush it. They do very, very well. But it was in that six year period where I met 
a lot of real estate agents. Obviously, I networked with a ton of them. I had many real estate agent partners who came to me to get their clients approved for first time home buying. So we crushed it in refis, home purchases, and reverse mortgages. But in 2016, that's when I was already sick and tired of mortgages. I just, I just, I just, I just grew a, a hate for it. Right. Uh, and, and in 2016, I, I left mortgages, but wanted to stay in the industry somehow, some way. And I knew I wasn't get, gonna become a realtor um, and, and, and an LO just wasn't my thing anymore. So right. I left mortgages in 2016 and started helping real estate agents because in that six year period, I realized that majority of the agents that I was working with were not leveraging social media. And so, and I knew majority of real estate agents were hardly even leveraging advertising at all. Like it was expensive. Your direct mail is not cheap, right? Like most right. Well, agents. Actually, you'd be surprised, man. So I'm doing it as uh, every door direct. And gotcha. uh, okay. So I it's a little bit more affordable. 11 double sided full size card on a 16 point stock for 39 mm -hmm. cents delivered with print. Awesome. See, yeah. and, and you, and, and my question is how come most aren't doing that? You know what I mean? So, so I, I knew that the majority were not doing that right. and especially the majority were not leveraging social media. So long story short, I knew this being a, being a lender. And so in 2016, I just grew a passion on wanting to help you guys with social media. So in 2016, rather than cold calling every agent and saying, Hey man, I'll do your marketing services or rather than, rather than doing any other type of form of marketing to get your attention, I came to Facebook and started requesting agents. Okay. So I got, I'm always at 5,000, but again, I, I unfriended a few, but that, that started in 2016. So all I'm saying by showing you this is that since 2016, I literally have been seeing what thousands and thousands of agents are doing when it comes to promoting their business, how they're marketing their listing, how they're posting their open house, how they're bragging about themselves, how they'll list your house tonight and have it sold tomorrow. I see it by the thousands. Right. And so when you follow thousands of people, just people, just quote unquote people, you start to see patterns and habits and, 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 and different things. But when you follow thousands of people that literally all have the same job, right you see even more patterns. And, and I'm telling you right now, man, since 2016, I've been seeing this and 99.9% .9 of every single real estate agent misses the basics when it comes to social media marketing and Facebook advertising. And so in 2018, I ended up writing a book about this, a digital book. I have it up. Um, it's a very successful book that I got out to tons of agents. But in this book, I just break down five basic steps. Okay. Five basic steps, and the, the book is called The Social Real Estate Agent, Five Steps to Implement on Social Media to Capture More Leads and Build Your Personal Brand Fast. So I broke this all down to five basic steps, and I'll show you what these steps are. They're stupid, they're basic, they're very, very simple, and I'm telling you, everyone misses it. But okay. step three is what every agent comes on a social media to try to accomplish without even knowing it's step three, right? I just label it step three, but right. step three is lead capture. Step three is Facebook ads. Step three is trying to sell that listing. That's what I call step three. Mm -hmm. But again, 99.9% .9 are missing the basics, which is step one and two. And because step one and two is not really there implemented on their page and, 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 and they're not even focused on that it hinders and it, and, it, and, it, and it slows down the ROI on even trying to capture a lead. Right, right now, if you, if you go out and try to run these Facebook ads, they're not, your ROI is not going to really be there until we really beef up your page. And now that we're in this whole social media era, you got to understand that when, when it comes to this page over here, whether it's our personal page or whether it's our business page, right. as we scale this number up, and, and this, is, this applies for every platform, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, whatever. When it comes to social media, this friend count, if we were, if we were not in business, we would be fine with the 200 friends that we have because we know them all. Sure. Our in-laws, our friends, our cousins, our, you know, whatever, a couple hundred. But because we're in business, we're all scaling that number up. We're all trying to request everyone and their mother. We, and, it, and it's only because we need the exposure. We're a business owner. We're trying to take that 1,000 to 5,000. On Instagram, we're trying to have 10,000 followers. On LinkedIn, you want 50,000 connections. It's like, but this, the sad part is, and my point is, is that on this, these platforms, as you scale that number up, not, and, and the real number is 99%, but I'll be, I'll be conservative and, and just say 90 because 90 is still a crazy number. Nine out of every 10 people. 
90% of this friend list are going to live across the country. Mm -hmm. They're not going to know you right. and they will never be moving to your local area. Right. Ever. Like I'm right here in San Diego. I will never be moving to your area and right. I'm going to be one of your friends. And so as we take that number up, that's what it is. And so this social media, even though we're not advertising from this page, this page is the Mecca. This is, this is our main page because this is where you'll be connecting with people. This is where you'll be networking with people. As you're out promoting your business, you'll be telling them to connect with you here. It's not your business page first. In fact, the business page, it's only for Facebook ads. And that's what no one understands is that they think they, can, they, they, they need a business page. No, you don't. If, you, if you're not running Facebook ads, you don't need a business page because everything you're posting is over here as well. Mm -hmm. And so this is what I call step one because no one knows you. And as you take this friend count up, Step one, and we're going to get to step three, which is how we run these, these ads, but this is what I'm advising you just do first because, again, after seeing thousands and thousands of pages, 99% look like this. This is what I call step one, and, and it, it applies for your, your personal page and your business page. This is step one. So because no one knows us, this intro is the first impression, mm -hmm. and so as people come here, and, and here's the thing about, about, you know, about, about real estate. It, if, you're, if you're connecting with a ton of realtors, which I would think you probably are because you're now with eXp and you're probably looking to build a team, so you're probably networking with other real estate agents and other, con and other companies, right? And you're, and you're probably requesting a lot of those people as, as friends as well. But the ones that you're not, the ones that are normal people, the ones that are not in the industry, they're not lenders, they're not title reps, they're not escrow officers, they are normal working class people and you're connected with them as friends, this intro is the most important because okay. here's what's going on. If I had no idea about the business, I would think that this is your business page, I would click like and that does Pierre no good. Gotcha. So every, and this, so this is step one, this is basic, basic stuff. And I'm just seeing, I'm just telling you, I see it by the thousands. And right. this is why our ads don't convert as well, because these basics are missing. This right here is, is obviously not the link we want. We want your business page right there. Right. And then also, cause here's the deal. I come across Pierre's page and this is what he's showing me. I come across Candy's page and this is what she's showing me. Mm -hmm. So step one, as you, as you obviously know, branding, 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 logo, branding, branding, branding is everything. Branding is everything offline. Branding mm -hmm. is everything online. And now that we're in, now in the social media world, social media branding is everything. And so again, I don't know you. I don't know Candy. I don't know John. I don't know Stacy. Everyone's a realtor, but I come across her page and she's just showing me a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And this little bit goes a long way, man. I'm telling you, everyone's is blank. I see it by the thousands. All I'm saying is that step one, list a little bit more info. And this is the info. So right away, she's showing me a, a, a link to her business page. And then down here, she's showing me her Instagram, her Twitter, her Pinterest, her LinkedIn, her website address. And if you notice, which you don't even have to look that close, but if you look close, every link is matching. Right. Basic. So write what you're doing with this logo. This right here, I love it. That needs to be locked on every platform which i have except for linkedin which i gotta change perfect perfect let's get that linkedin change and then let's just simply get it listed and okay. once it's listed on the personal page then you're going to come over to your business page and in the about section because as you go on a step three which is facebook ads people are going to either click on your learn more button and go to your landing page or they're going to click on your business page and come see who you are because if you're, especially if you're running ads to a cold market, even though you're targeting your local area, those folks still don't know you. Like you're, you're not Mr. Popular. I mean, I've been in San Diego my whole entire life, all 42 years so far. Mm -hmm. I don't even know my neighbors. Right. You know what I mean? So, so, so just because we're advertising in our local area, most are not going to know us. It is a cold market. People are going to come to your business page before they give up their information and clicking about is one thing they'll do. So when they click about, all we want to do is have everything listed as well. Everything under one name. So Twitter, Instagram, this is her LinkedIn and her Pinterest, but I don't know why the icon isn't showing. But it's just, it's just showing a little bit more. And, and a little bit more is social media. 
because today on social media, people are going to follow you. And, and, and the only reason for, for, for listing these, let me go back to her page. The only reason for it, it's not that you have to all of a sudden be this social media butterfly. Like it's not, it's not all of a sudden, oh, I got to post on all these damn platforms out. No, it's not about that. It's simply for the fact that as a business owner, we just need to know where the, where the business is. And the business is on one of these platforms. There's billions of people on, on these top five. These are the top five. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Those are your top five. Every past client, every existing client, every future client you'll ever close escrow on is literally on one of those platforms. Now, right. just because Pierre and David connected on Facebook, how does he know that I don't spend 77 hours a day on LinkedIn? Right. Right. And for that simple fact, you have to have it listed because if I message you, which most likely I'm more comfortable message on LinkedIn, you better hope you get that message. You better hope I even knew you were there in the first place. Right. You know what I mean? So basic, basic branding, and that's listing your links. That's what I call step one. Okay. So, so you want to get all that, all that set up first, basic in the intro on your, on your personal page. And then, and then in the about section of your, of your business page. That's step one, super basic, okay? But I, I just know it's super important because everyone's missing it. Here's step two. Let me pull up your, um, your business page. Where's your business page at? Uh, just Pernajad Group, so. Okay, perfect. Let me um, see if I can find it. So this, yeah, is, yeah. this is step two. Um, let me. Just the last thing. Got it. Yeah. And then group, yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. So here's, let me see if this is the, is this the page? Um, let me see if I can, um, let's see if I can just find it this way. Okay, perfect. So here, here's step two. So again, as people, let me, and let me just give you an example of um, like just a random ad. So as, as anyone scrolling through their newsfeed, whether they're on their computer or whether they're on their cell phone, whatever, they all of a sudden come across a sponsored ad. Right. So here goes Pierre's ad. You know, there's the text, there's the image, there's the learn more button. Again, cold market, especially if we're, if we're not creating custom audiences, we're just running to a cold market. They're either going to click on learn more. They can obviously click on the image, which will, which will, which will also take them to the, to the page, or they're going to click on your name to see who the heck you are. Step two, the first impression, just like I mentioned over here, the first impression is the intro mm -hmm. on, on your business page or on anyone's business page. Let me go back to the one that I clicked on on anyone's business page. The first impression is that light count. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to tell you, man, Every single agent, here's what I deal with all day. Just like you on your personal page, if anyone clicks like, you get a notification. If anyone comments, you get a notification. Because I have thousands of agents, everyone's an agent, Pierre, every single one of them. Right. My notifications all day is this, and this is what you're doing as well. Monica invited you, Aaron invited you, Kristen, Ingrid, Dana, Lynette. Now we're on step two. Every single agent in the country clicks invite to invite their personal friends to like their business page. And what I'm telling you right now is that I can click on any real estate agent's page and I've seen it by the thousands since 2016. I've literally seen tens of thousands of pages right. of Facebook business pages. I've spoken to thousands of agents. I brought on hundreds of clients since 2016 on this exact topic. 99.99% of every agent in the country will have a couple hundred likes. So when I'm clicking on your ad and I come to your page and I see 200 likes, instantly right. you lost my attention gotcha. versus I come over here again. I don't know candy. I don't know candy, but if I'm connecting on the personal page, okay, at least she's showing a little bit more credibility, social proof. And then she's running ads and I come over here, over here to her, over her, over here to her business page and I see 3,500. Basic stuff, man, but to the consumer's eye, that perception, I'm going to automatically assume that candy is, is, is the queen, gotcha. right? Like I'm going to automatically, that ad, that's a Facebook like ad. That is where your next dollar should go, should go. Yeah. It should go into in, at least increasing your likes by, by a few thousand. You don't need to go that, that high because I'm telling you, I've, cl I've seen every agent's page, 99% have a couple hundred. All you need is a couple thousand. 
So I don't even see my light count. I'm on my page right now. I was trying to see what my light count is on this thing. Yes. We need to take that a little higher. And here's the deal. I can't find it. I'm just trying to see where my light count is. Uh, Oh, it's right here. There's your light count. Oh, oh, you're looking at, oh, so your page is, so that page is different than what I have. Okay. Why is that different? You're not looking at this page? No, I'm on that page, but I don't have the send message. Maybe I'm just on my own. uh, Are you? Yeah, oh, you're probably, you're looking I'm at it from the business profile. side. I think I'm on an edit profile page. Hold on a second. I think that's what it was. You're, you're probably looking at it from the business manager side, which. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's giving you a different view. So I'm looking at it from the from the viewer. You're looking okay. at it from the from the admin. Okay. So this is what the viewer sees. So the viewer sees this. So So again, here's my point. Every agent clicks invite to try to get that number up. But again, all of our friends, they all live across the country. Now, if you said, David, you know what? I'm the mayor and those thousand people actually live in my local area, then I would believe you, right? Right. But we're not the mayor. So those thousand are across the country. Those thousand also like this page. They're across the country. So clicking invite is not going to get us there um, at all. And nor do you, nor, nor are your leads going to even come from here. So that's another thing. So it's, it's not the light count where the leads are coming from, but it's the light count that gives me the perception and gives the first impression that Pierre is the king. Gotcha. I need to land here and see 1700. Right. So, and, and, and so here's, and, and, and it's all for perception. It's one single ad. It's one single strategy. It's simply step two. All I'm doing is advising run that ad first before we go and start capturing leads. So, okay. And, and, and here's the reality about, about the like count as well. Facebook is only showing it to one, showing your post to 1% of the like count. So that's why organic posting isn't going to do anything for you. Organic right. posting is completely dead. Don't even worry about organic posting on this page. It's not going to happen at all. Even if you had 17,000, like I have 10,000 on my page mm-hmm. and like over here on my business page. And it's like, if I relied on just organic posting, I'd be dead. Like, mm-hmm. because Facebook is only showing it to 1% of the like count. And right. if those, if those likes were across the country, which your 700 are, then I'd really be dead. Right. If, if I was a local business owner, right? If right. you're operating nationwide, then okay, damn, let's go after the whole country. Forget who, who all these people matter. Cause I could do deals wherever. And even though you can, I, I have no doubt you can help anyone relocate. I get it but your ideal client is in your backyard. Of course. So it's not going to happen from the likes, but the like count does need to be a little higher to grab that attention fast. So I love this logo, man. I love this logo. I love this color. You, you look, you're looking really good right here, man. Thanks. Man. And, and so, and so that's what I advise. I, the seven, the seven, five, six, all I'm saying is take it up to at least 1700. Okay. That's, that's the very, very next ad. Um, and, and, and I've, again, I've, I don't mean to keep saying it, but it, it's just, it is what it is. I, I can't, I can't stress enough on how many agents I've spoken to just since 2016 and no one knows how to run that ad, man. So if anything, I can help you run that. You just pay for it and, and give me a, a good review. I mean, that's what I've done over here on my business page. My last 60, I think like, yeah, 62, my last 62 reviews. I said, Angela, I'll run it for you. Just give me a good review. Lizette, like every single review is an agent. And, and what I do is I, I help them with, with step one, I help them with step two, and then, and then they just pay for it and I, you know, they give me a good review. And then later on is when we go on a step three. But if you're looking to do step three now, I mean, you can for sure do step three now, but that ad, that ad should be ran first, the, yeah. the like ad. Um, and, then, and then step three, as you start to go on to capturing leads, a lot of people want to worry about, and so now let's talk about step three. Step two was the, was the like ad. Take it up a little higher and then and we're done. Right. But step three, uh, everyone wants to know the technicalities of running a Facebook ad. Like which objective, what's the best way, how do I split test, what landing page. That's all the back end where, what, where I'll, I'll just say 99.9 because it, it really is that high, man. 99.9% of not even an agent, not even a broker, not even, not even anyone in your industry, 99.9% of business owners, the number one problem, the number one issue when it comes to social media marketing is the lack of content is the fact that we don't have enough content. Either we're not putting on enough images or we're not putting on enough video. 
and 100% of everything you put out should be a Facebook ad. If you're going to just randomly post on LinkedIn or Instagram or Twitter, okay, whatever. But our ROI, our lead capture, the way we're going to get a hold of our local community, 100% has to happen through a Facebook ad. It's not going to happen any other way. It has to happen through a Facebook ad. So 99.9% lack content. It's not, it's not how you're setting up the ad. It's not how the objective, it's not, it is, it is actually, it is the objective to tell you the truth. A lot of people choose the wrong objective on the Facebook setup. That's, that's problem number two. But problem number one is the fact that they think that one ad is going to do it for them. Like I have many, many clients, man, and they want, they want to put everything down as if we're, you know, betting against the house. They want to put everything and in, in, in bet it all on this one ad. And I'm like, dude, it doesn't work that way. Like you have to continually pump out ads. Like you have to, and, and it's not that you're running a, a different ad every day, but you want to, you want to for sure be running a different ad every week. You want to be running a different ad every week. So what I'm saying is not even, not even, not even crazy. Like what I'm saying is not even, you know, um, um, it's not even like out of the question. It's, it, it's possible a different image every week or, a, or a new video every week. Okay. Which, 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 which leaves us to running one every day. So if I have one video of a listing, I'm running it for seven days. I'm running it every day on the eighth day. I'll either continue to run it if it's, if, if it hasn't sold and if, and, it, and, and if it's actually doing good, if I'm capturing leads, then maybe I'll continue it for another week. But, but, but if, even if I didn't capture a whole bunch of leads, that's fine. On the eighth day, I'm going to switch up the ad and I'll do a different ad. Right. I'll, I'll run a different video or maybe I'll put a different image. And, 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 and it's the ability to put out more content and the willing to put out more content on, on what's going to make you win. And, and, and that's why I tell people all the time. I tell my, my real estate friends all the time. I'm like, man, do you understand that? And because most people are afraid of the camera, most people are, are still camera shy. And, and, I, I, and I just can't stress enough on how important it is to put out video because the reality is, and, and here's what I really want you to understand and I, and I know you know this, or maybe you might not know it, but it's, it's very simple. You have to understand that you know more about this stuff, Pierre, than 99% of not only just your city, but 99% of the country. You know more about real estate. You know more about the buying and selling of residential property than 99% of the freaking country. So it's almost like you, it don't even matter what you say on the damn video. It's almost to that point where it don't even matter. The fact that you're a quote unquote licensed real estate professional, automatically you're on a pedestal. So, so all it comes down to is showing your face, showing your face, whether we're going to show your face via image or whether we're going to show your face via video. It's just about showing your face. It's just about the content. If your people in your local area can keep seeing you in their newsfeed, all of a sudden, oh, there goes Pierre again. I wonder what he's talking about now. And, and, and the fact that you're educating, no, no one out there is educating. So, so if, if we're, if we're focused on buyers, okay, let's focus on educating the people on the process of buying. If we're focused on sellers, let's focus on our content being all around educating the people on the process of selling. It's not just about promoting your listing because people don't know you yet. So we're going to run an ad on a listing. It's a cold market. They don't know you. They're going to just keep scrolling. And, and, and so that, 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 that's the reason why we have to show them another ad next week. This, and that's why video is so powerful because now we can start creating custom audiences of those who are watching it. This is a, actually, it's not even a video. It's a, it's a GIF or whatever they called it. Yeah. But, but if it was a video, let's say it was a 60 second video, the custom audiences allow us to build audiences around those who watch it for 20 seconds, those who watch it for 30 seconds. So video, a new video every week is what I'd be doing, man. But again, I don't know if you're fully comfortable with video. No, I've got a green screen. I've got everything in my oh, here. Uh, you would crush it, bro. You would crush it. You would crush well, it. I do. Okay. So let me give you a little background on me. Um, Go so for it. Besides being a real estate agent, five years ago, I started a technology company for real estate agents. I started a door knocking app because that's how I made the majority of my business, right? Mm. I used to go out and knock on doors. So I've trained agents. I've got a, a database of over 5,000 agents that are just part of the, my product that I, that I created. Right. Um, so making training videos, making videos live, you know, doing live classes, things like that. I, that's, that's easy for me. I just didn't realize 
you know, yeah, I get the idea of, you know, you're just sending out a message uh, and, and trying to get these leads to come in to just build some sort of a database and, and friends. Uh, the, the biggest issue I was having, you know, with the lookalike audience, because again, how I found your videos, I was trying to really understand a custom audience, especially with all the changes that Facebook made, mm -hmm. you know, with, mm -hmm. with, with the restrictions and everything else. So once I was able to get that database, I've got, you know, I think it's, um, it's about, hold on a second. Let me just double check this number. I want I want to give you the exact number because uh, it was, a. let's do this. So I made a custom audience and this is people that are supposedly in the market to sell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, just based on um, based on analytics, right? Um, yes. Uh, email master list. Okay, here we go. So the list is much bigger, but I only took the people that had an email address mm -hmm. and and these are all local. These they're all within my neighborhood, right? Um, the list is thirteen hundred and fifty nine people, right? So what I did is I uploaded that that list and I created a custom audience based on that, and you know one percent of the country, and then brought it down to fifteen mile radius of Irvine, right? Um, and did an ad about you know. Do you know what your home is worth in today's market? Offering a report, it was just going straight to your to the to the page where you just type in the address and get the what do you call it, and then it goes through a drip system through KV Core, right? Um, but maybe instead of the photo or whatever else for that kind of thing, we can just do a video. For the rest of it, I can start posting videos two, three a week for right now. It doesn't matter, you know, just about you know the questions that people have about what's happening in the market, you know, are homes still selling during the coronavirus? Yeah. I got two listings and sold them both in two days. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, while we're in lockdown. Right. Um, I, I'm sure those are things that people want to know. So if, if yes. that's what you're talking about with educating and, and just growing a brand awareness, I mean, people have been asking me to do yes. that for God knows how long, dude. And I just, you know, I've, I've done so many other things except that. See, so, so rather than having to think that you have to post all the time, what I'm saying is run it as an ad. So these videos think I want you thinking one ad a week. Okay. An ad, 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 all those videos, bro. Ad. the only people who need to see you on social media, man, are the people who live in your backyard. Gotcha. That's it. And the only way I can get to them is running a Facebook ad. Right. Okay. And so you have the right idea for sure. But even with that list of 1300, that's my whole point of what I'm trying to really stress is the fact that it's content because you can put that list in, you can create a custom audience and you can run an ad to them, but they better see another ad from you again in the next few days. They better right. be, they better see Pierre again. Okay. So once I set up the pixels is what you're talking about. I'm, I should be retargeting those along with the audience. Right. So that's, heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. So I haven't done any of that. So I'm new to all that as well. Right. Mm -hmm. So that pixel stuff, I didn't even have, like, I didn't even create a pixel until two days ago. I didn't even realize, right? Because I, I have someone do it for me or whatever else. So I never really mm -hmm. learned. So that's why I'm kind of emerging, you know, submerging good. myself in this entire thing right now. Good, good. Well, you're, you're, you're on the right track, man. You're definitely on the right track. The pixel has to be um, on, when, when it comes to just a basic capture page, like lead capture page, you have your, you have your, you have your landing page. And then they get there, they enter their email, they put their phone number, whatever you're requesting, and then they click submit. And then they go to, a, they go to the next page, which, which is what we call a thank you page or a confirmation page. That page, the pixel also has to be on, but that page needs to be set up as a Facebook custom conversion. Gotcha. That's what most I people to, I miss. I need to start figuring out how to add. Okay, so it's only one pixel. You only own one pixel, but you can put it on a gazillion different pages is what I understand. Is that right? Yes, but but what I'm saying for the actual lead capture ad, uh -huh. which 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 is if you come over your to your um, let me um, show you an example because this this is this is again number one was content most right. lack the content, number right. two is most don't know which objective to run, so let me show you I'm going to give you this crash course it'll take thirty seconds because this is the most important. You're only only objective that you'll ever run. And this is, this is 99.9% .9 of the time. Let's just call it a hundred percent, 100% of the time. When you come over here, you click that green button and you come over here and this is the beginning. This is where the magic happens. This right. is the setup. What most people do is they'll run 
an engagement ad or they'll run or if it's a video the most obvious thing that they'll they'll see is video views okay great let's get 5000 people to view it so they go with video views or if they're if they're trying to capture leads and they don't have a landing page like you do then they'll obviously run lead generation but most that are putting out a video they'll run video views in hopes of capturing leads when that's not the right ad that's not the right that's not the objective Sure. Facebook is going to, is going to give you what you're asking for. So if you're asking for an engagement ad, an engagement ad is when people engage, right. so you're going to run an ad. People are going to like it. They're going to comment. They're going to, they're going to share it. That is engagement. I don't like running engagement ads to, to, for leads because then I have to micromanage every single notification. Sure. I have to check all these comments all damn day and I don't got time for that. So it's not right. engagement. And, and for sure it's not video views, even though you're going to be putting out videos. Yeah, I've always yeah. just done traffic and lead generation. So I do a lead form or I just do traffic. Okay, well. so then so then now what I'm telling you, if you have the landing page, it's going to be conversions. Okay. But you have to set up a custom conversion first. Gotcha. And, so, and so the way you're going to do that is you're going to come over here to, to the three dots and you're going to, right. you're going to click on right here, events manager. Mm -hmm. And I'm recording this for you, by the way. So yeah, no, I got you. Gotcha. Okay. So, so if you just click on events manager, that will bring you to the custom conversions. And all you're going to do is you're going to get the URL for the, for the confirmation page. So if you opt into your own page, where does it take you next? That's, that's the URL you need. Gotcha. Okay. So, so for example, like here's like one of my, um, like if I just go to one of my, my landing pages, Mm -hmm. here's the landing page people come to the landing page they click on the button they enter their information and then they click the button and they go to the thank you page this thank you page right here this url i don't right. need the https i don't right. need the www all i need is this part right here right so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to come over here to facebook um Let's go to the custom conversions. So I clicked on the three lines. I clicked on events manager. It brought me here. I click on custom conversions. Right. I click on this blue button right here, create right. custom conversion. And this right here is where the URL goes. So I'm going to paste that URL right there. Mm -hmm. And then also this, it's, it's not allowing me because it's, it, it has a, there's a different pixel on that page. So, so, so it's not going to allow me on this one. I'm in a different right. ad account, but you won't see this error. It will just be all URL traffic. You paste that URL right there. You name it listing leads or whatever. Right. And then you select the category and the category is going to be lead. And okay. then you click create. Now we have a custom conversion. Now what we do is we come back over here to the three lines. We hit the ads manager. And then now as we click the green button and we go and set up the objective, which is now going to be not traffic, not lead generation, it's going to be conversions. As we go in and we set up that conversions ad, we're going right. to also let Facebook know the type of conversion that we're going for. See Facebook, they don't want to know when you run a traffic ad, a traffic ad is simply telling Facebook, get people to my landing page. Right. Right. That's what, a, that's what a traffic ad is. A traffic ad is saying, hey, Facebook, here's my landing page. Get me traffic. But a conversions ad is telling Facebook, hey, no, don't just get them here. Get them to the other page. Gotcha. Right? So, so now that other page, I come over here, I hit conversions, and always check that box. If you don't check yeah. that box, it will get rejected. Get, yeah, you don't yeah, need so, so always, always check that. So now we come down. You don't need this shaded blue. Shade that to gray, the campaign budget right. optimization. Hit continue, and this is where it matters. So now as I'm in the second step, which is the ad set, now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to simply scroll down to right here. You're going to see it red, but this is what I'm looking for, is right. optimization ad for, ad for ad delivery. I'm going to click in there and I'm going to scroll down to the custom conversion I just set up. Now, if it was a lead or the listing one, and, and it'll say it right there, whatever you named it, you'll see it right here in the drop down. Got it. So, so that right there is what I'm telling Facebook. Hey, man, that's what I'm optimizing for. Get me people, get me leads. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. So I'm telling you, 99% of people, 
miss that part. And that's why they don't capture any leads. Cool. That's the right ad is the objective is, is conversions and you want to set the custom conversion first. You've got to do that once you've had at least, I mean, is, so because there's a pixel or no, that's not even, that's got nothing to do with your audience, right? That's just the conversion page that we're doing that we're converting to this page. We're, we're just putting the pixel on the thank you page and we're creating a custom conversion around the thank you page. It has nothing to do with anything else. Gotcha. Okay. So, so that right there is, is step three and step four is your landing page. Step five is your email automation. Okay. So once that lead comes in, they better be nurtured by an email list, an automated list. Cause Pierre ain't got no time to be emailing people. Right. Right. So you need this on a drip system, which, which you guys have, right? That Kate does. Yeah. Does yeah. We use KB course. So I've got them on text. And so if there's Perfect. a phone number, text email goes out, everything. Perfect. Perfect, man. Perfect. So, that's your step three right there, man. Conversions. But at the, at the same time, as I mentioned, it's content, put out more content, bro. Put out a new video every week, run it as a, as a, as a conversions ad and, and just drown that area with, with your face. Like just, just yeah. get people indoctrinated with your content. Gotcha. And, and because you're, you're, because you're coming w with a different approach, you're educating. That's what makes people like you. They keep seeing you. They feel that they know you. They feel that they trust you and they become indoctrinated with your content because you're teaching rather than just selling. Right. So David, can you show me something real quick on here? Just uh, hypothetically. So once, so right now my pixel is only on that, on the seller side of things, right? So I haven't put it on the buy side because the buy side's on a lead form and the lead form then is, you know, um, I can put it on the, on the, on the pages for the links that I'm sending out. Mm -hmm. um, so we can see that engagement so I can build up that uh, audience. But so once I, let, let's say I run an ad uh, with conversions or thank you pages or landing pages or whatever else. And mm -hmm. I have, you know, 10, 15, 20 leads, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I then always just include that audience with that because is, no. is that what it, so I include, I always include it for the retargeting, right? So even though I'm using a custom audience, right? I also always include the second audience, which is, whatever the pixels, wherever I'm getting my pixels from. Is that correct? No, you're, oh. you're, you're, you're almost there. You're almost there. You're, you're on the right track for sure. But based on what you just said, it's on, it's, it's based on the lead. So if you're, if you're creating a custom audience to run a lead, yes, you are going to create a custom audience. So, so again, so no, my point was like, how do I get, how do I make sure the guys in my neighborhood or whatever in my area, in my demographic area are seeing me every week? How am I, how am I retargeting them to make sure that they're seeing the videos? You're, you're either creating a custom audience around those who view the video, which I can gotcha. show you how to, how to do that. So okay, that's what it is. So it's, it's, so, but I do include it. So, oh, I, I got you. So that's its own separate ad then basically, right? So if I'm retargeting, that's its own separate ad. I, I don't include that with my regular ad or do I? No, you can't. Yes, you do. You do. Okay. So that you, so that way I'm not running a budget of 20, 20, 20 on seven different ads. Right. So. Y yes. Yes. You, you want to, you want to create a custom audience and include that. And include, in, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. Got it, got it, got for it. sure. For sure. But then here's, here's what you also want to do. Here's what you also have to do. Again, as people come to the page, they opt in, they give you their name and email. Yeah. They come over here to the thank you page. This is again where the custom conversion is created around is around this URL. Yes. But what I also set up, which is super, super important. What you also set up is you set up a custom audience around that URL as well. Right. Because as I go in and run future ads, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to come over here right. into the second step, which is the ad set. I'm going to click on custom audiences and I'm going to um, exclude yeah. right here. I'm going to exclude everyone who landed on that page. Right. Because they're already a lead. Yes. Gotcha. Right. I don't want to keep targeting them. They already opted in. So I need to exclude them for yeah. sure. That's so super important. They like of that basically. So Facebook's going to find people that match that anyway. They're going to find people that match that anyways. Yes. If you're creating a lookalike, but to create a lookalike, the custom audience and the custom conversions need some type of activity. So you need Got to be, you, you need to be, that pixel needs to be capturing data sure. to, to even base any, any look alike. Yeah, otherwise around. you're not going to have enough and it's going to give you that error that you yeah. don't have enough data. To yeah. Do it. Yeah. So, so if you can get a ton of people to the, to the page, the pixel will, will capture the audiences and the conversions and you'll be able to have a good look alike. And then, and then, and that's not till maybe a couple months down the line, but after, but as that happens, 100%, oh, let's just say 99, 99% of your future targeting. 
So let's say, for example, you start this today. In two months, you'll be able to literally only target, only, yeah, only target your lookalike audiences. Gotcha. So you'll be able to now leverage Facebook's, Facebook's algorithm and their AI on the lookalike audience. Now I don't even have to worry about targeting. The lookalike audience is targeting everything for me. Gotcha. Based on, based on my initial data. Right. Right. So you only what need to come up with, with what are they doing and everything else. Got it. Okay. Yes. Yes. So it's only in the very beginning when you're running to a cold audience, you're getting your pixel data and, 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 and we're building up these audiences and that's a couple months after that, everything future targeting is based on my, I'm only targeting lookalikes from that point on. Understood. And, and that's how you scale, bro. Like that's how you scale. You scale from your lookalike audiences. I you don't you. scale by continually coming in here and targeting and putting in your own data. No, do that once. And then the lookalike will take over after that. Got you. Just make sure that your pixels are on all the right places and everything else. Yes. Um, yes. You're, can I ask you're, you a silly question, man? Look, so I named my pixel because I didn't realize when I first made it, I thought that you can make, you have to make different pixels for different things. Mm -hmm. How do I, can I change the name of the pixel or edit oh, it? Oh yeah, or? for sure. For sure. So if I come over here and my I just click manager? on, what's that? Oh, yeah. So I'm in my ads manager right now. Go ahead and um, go ahead and share your screen. Okay. Hold on one second. Uh, can you see my, let me yes, see. Well, perfect. Which one are you looking at? Are you looking at? I'm looking at um, your screen. I'm looking at, um, I see custom conversions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and click on, um, click on data sources or actually, yeah. Click on data sources to the left or yeah. Go to your right to the correct one. Right here. Yes. And then all you're going to do is you're going to click on, no, you can leave it right there. Let's let it load real quick. So click on which one do you want to change? The Irvine home? Yeah, that's the only pixel I, oh, what is this Facebook pixel? I don't even know what that is. So this, this is the one that I made, yeah. Yeah, so click on that one. Okay. And then you'll be able to, you'll be able to edit it right there at the top. Oh, I got you. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I just call this lead capture pixel or whatever, right? And then it'll be yeah. on all of it. Okay. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Got it. Okay, cool. Do you have any um, ads running at this moment? Yeah. Here, I'll show them to you right now. Are they lead generation? Uh, yeah. Or so, lead so generation. one is lead and one, yeah. So I'll show you both. I just started running them a couple of days ago. Um, so these are the two that I'm running right now. This is the, uh, this is the home value where they're going to just my EXP home value page, mm -hmm. which, um, you know, uh, I tried to get the landing pages, but I'm not getting any, right? So people are clicking, but they're not doing mm -hmm, anything with mm -hmm. it, right? Um, this is the, um, get the, you know, th this is a home, let me here, I'll show it to you so you can see it. Uh, where is it? It's a, get a list of, you know, Irvine, a list of Irvine homes that have been reduced, um, you know, because you can't do open houses right now, obviously, right? Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. um, and it goes to a, a Facebook, uh, what do you call it? Uh, lead uh lead page yeah, the lead form lead form yeah awesome but it just uh you know this is all the stuff that i put i put a lot of content in there again but it's uh i i, I don't think it just it just doesn't come across the way your ad was showing where it's like it looks like a post you know this looks like an ad but where, where the other ones look like a real post right um so maybe you know with, with more content that you can see when it's posted but um yeah this is this is what we do this this is just a list of you know price uh, you know homes that have been reduced in Irvine. so mm -hmm. um and that one did okay nothing fantastic so far in two days um the cost of the lead is about four bucks per which is a little high um but you know so as far as the um the ad sets who who are you what area are you targeting one city are you targeting multiple cities are you targeting so interest yeah so i'm doing yeah i'm doing uh yeah i did i did uh, irvine is what i did okay so one one city yeah. irvine yeah. and then any any keywords uh no okay good you don't you really need it need any yeah. okay so then um what so how much are you spending per day you're spending 20 bucks per day 
Yeah. Here's, and so, here's... and from these, from these 16 leads, because of my, you know, so I've got the system that goes in right away. Mm -hmm. um, I'm already speaking to three people, right? That mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. one, not so realistic Two that look like they want to buy in the next, you know, 90 days or so. Okay. So then, so then here's, here's, here's the next step. Here's what you can, you can for sure test, which is, which is, is exactly it. what, what you should do. Right Click there. on um, the ad set, the tab ad sets for Hello? one campaign, the middle tab. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Pierre? I think I lost you. Can you hear me? Lost you on the audio. Are you there? Can you hear me? <clears throat> Pierre. You there? I don't know why you can't hear, can me. hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, mine too. How about now? Mine too. Audio is fine. My end. Man, I don't know what happened. I can. My my mic is on. How about now? Okay, let's see if he. Can you hear me now, David? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Man, what happened? Um, Can you hear me at all? Wait, you can't. I can't hear you. Not sure what's going on. Are you there? Okay, David, I think I got you back. You got me? Yeah, I got you back. All right, we're good. Oh, that was weird. Sorry about that, man. Oh, no, it's okay. I think that was my end, dude. I think it could have been my speaker or something happened. Really? Okay, so sorry gotcha. about that. No worries, man. Go ahead and share your screen. Yep. Do it right now. Hold on one second. Let's do that. Awesome. All right, there we go. Okay, perfect. So then here's here's what you can do next. Like this is... This is, this is how you split test for sure. And this is how you, you really figure out where the leads are really coming from. So okay. if, you click on, if you click on the middle tab, the ad sets, ad sets for one campaign, that middle tab up, yeah, right there. What you can do is if you're spending $20 per day on this one single ad set, meaning right. the one targeting, the one Irvine, and yeah. the one image, what, you, what, what, you should, what would be a better a better uh, strategy is to simply split test by creating four targeting 
for for maybe target different maybe maybe target Irvine but then but then actually put in different keywords so okay. for example with one ad you would target Irvine and people interested in in real estate or maybe people who um, follow Zillow people yeah. who follow realtor.com or follow Redfin like look at the big box companies and maybe target that one word but that's for one ad and then you create a second ad set targeting another keyword and then you take another ad set so now we have four ad can sets you, sorry can you explain to me on the keywords like I, I understand keywords like when it comes to Amazon things like that but on, yeah. on, on my ad uh, like is that in the content the keywords is that what you're talking it, about or it's, it's in the actual so we'll click on edit we'll, we'll click on edit but let me just paint the picture real quick sure, sure. Rather than spending 20 bucks on one, we're going to spend $5 per day on four. I got you. Okay. Okay. And then, and then what you can also do, um, now you don't have to necessarily do it right now, but if, it, but if, if, so, so if $20 is the daily budget, then you, you may want to just test the ad set. But what you can also do is you can take that same strategy and test the image. Okay. So, so. If we have that one image, five dollars or twenty dollars per day, let's do four different images, okay. five dollars each per day. Gotcha. Okay. Right. So, um, so right here in the ad set, click on click on the 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 um right where the blue dot. Yeah, click on edit right there, the bottom edit. Yeah, right there. So it's in this right here. Scroll down. See right now you have the targeting as you mentioned the audience. So go ahead and scroll down. Um, where's the audience? So right there. So audience actually, yeah. See, right. I, here. I put truly a home. I put all that. Perfect. In Perfect. Okay. So here's my point. You're putting $20 per day on and, and you're bunching it. I'm saying put $5 per day That's and target right. one, one word at a time. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. know what? Maybe we'll do like two different, we'll do two with images and two with two different videos. Yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. Um, so I wouldn't, and, and here's another thing. Once the ad is up, it's up. You don't want to alter it. You don't want to make these changes on a live ad. Understood. Either we're going to shut the entire thing off or you're going to continue to run it. But if it's not producing, I mean, I mean, these, that's not bad. I mean, four bucks a lead. I mean, that's not that bad. No, um, you know, I mean, on when I was doing the PPC on Google, I was at 13 bucks a lead for Boomtown, right? So yeah, see, so in this particular case, what I would do is, is, it just, it just, here, here's what I would do for sure. Take going from $20 a day to $25 a day. Mm -hmm. That's not a, not a big, big difference, right? As far as breaking the bank, that won't break the bank. Right. Sure. So, so why don't we do that then? Why don't we create a second ad set? Okay. And so close out this top left. Yeah. That right there. Perfect. So what you can do is you can simply um, click on the duplicate at the top. Right here. You, yeah. You can click there, click duplicate. Mm -hmm. Original campaign, but actually, you know what? To tell you the truth, if we duplicate it, then it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna create the second one at twenty dollars a day too, and gotcha. we don't want to do that. So, um, I'll create a new so, one. That's fine. So, I mean, if the, if this one's, yeah, I mean, let I, I just don't want you to be spending forty bucks a day right right now if that's not right. in the budget. You know what I mean? I'd rather. Right, right, right. I got you. You know what I mean? So so, but this is a strategy for the next one. This is the, this is a strategy for the next ad. Rather than 20 bucks per day, do five bucks per day, but create four different ad sets. And that's how you, you do it. So right it four times, is that all you do? What's that? You just duplicate four times or whatever. To tell you the truth, you could duplicate 20 times. Gotcha. But, okay. but, or you can duplicate once. Gotcha. But, but the, so that's, how, but, but the reason why I broke it down into four is because I broke it down into five per, for your $20. Yeah. So listen, why don't we just edit the budget on this one and then duplicate it for right now? I can do that, right? That's the thing. Also, you don't want to. You don't want to edit. You don't want to. Once the live ad is going, got it going. Don't do it. Gotcha. Yeah. So, when it comes to editing, changing up maybe the title, changing up maybe the the duration of it. If I'm if I'm if I'm starting an ad today and I have it ran for the next seven days, I can maybe change the calendar date and maybe extend the date if if anything. But as far as the the real numbers, the targeting, the budget, you don't want to mess with that. I understand. Once okay. it's live. Once it's live. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, so that one, that one, that one's doing okay. I mean, that one's doing good. I mean, to tell you the truth, it's not, it's not anything over anything over six, seven dollars per lead. But then again, you're a real estate man. If you're closing the deals, shit, bring them in at fifty bucks a lead for all you yeah, care, I don't right? Really care at that point, right? Right. Yeah. Um, so, 
Yeah, I'm just looking for a quality lead, right? So right now, you know, the majority of, you know, and it's just like anything else. The majority of online leads is people just, they're not even, you know, I never did this, right? Whatever. It is what it is, right? And, but, but here's my point. That's why, dude, video, you're, I'm telling you, man, if you got video, if you're ready to crush it with video, you're going to kill it. Because okay. that's the difference between looking at that ad that you just showed me. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no personality in it. Right. Versus if I saw that on a video and I was Pierre and I keep seeing his damn face, Dude, that's a different lead, bro. Right. That's a different lead. Right. So, so yeah, that's that's be more engaging. One hundred percent. I agree. Yes, dude. Right. So that's why your next ads they they all need to be, they all need to be video, man. They all need to be video. Okay. And and and, and duplicate the ad set, um, and then also also you, you don't have to duplicate the yeah you don't have to duplicate the image or the video, but you but but you can you can but start with duplicating the ad set. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then go from there. It's duplicating the ad set and then, and then eventually duplicating the image once those ads are doing good. Okay. But it's only, but you're only duplicating the ad set two, three, four times or whatever, based on whatever you're comfortable spending. Okay. And you're only doing that for, let's just say, let's say you duplicate and you create four ad sets right now. You're only going to let that run for, let's just say, let's just say, let's just say four days. Gotcha. After that four day period, you're going to look at the numbers and say, okay, shit, that ad's not doing anything. That ad's not doing anything. And you're going to shut those ones off. And you're only going to leave on the, the one that says 16 or whatever yeah. the number may be. You're only going to leave on the one out of four. Yeah. Cause you don't know what people like, right? They might like a picture. They might like a video. They might like, yes, videos, man. Right. Yes. That's okay. why constant content is so important. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and, and duplicating the ad sets. So you know, which interest, because the way you have it right now, you have it bunched up. We right. don't know if this person was interested in Zillow or Realtor because we have them all combined. I want to be able to break that down. And, and yeah, I, and I, I do that. Okay, so let me show you. I, I tried to mess with that earlier. Let me, let me go back so I can show you real quick. Um, where is it? Uh, is it? Campaigns. All right. So I tried to do that with the market is moving A-B test here, supposedly. Um, and I don't even know how I did it. I think it was... Uh, Anyway, I, I, I ran this one. I just turned them off because it was just running just to okay. run. Okay. Uh, I was trying to get, you know, people, again, I was trying to get sellers, which I don't think is the right move on oh. with the ad, right? The way I'm doing it. I think build that audience, get that trust, get those videos, and then you go looking for the sellers because the sellers lead their tougher. No, going here, here, I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up because here's where I was going to end it with you as well. The ultimate strategy. The ultimate strategy is the content, pumping out content like it's like it's going out of style. Video, 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 new video every week, targeting that local area. But the ultimate icing on the cake, man. Seeing your face in the news feed, educating us is is one thing. But the other thing is giving me something. When it comes to capturing leads on the internet, whether it's a real estate agent, whether it's a plumber, a chiropractor, a dentist, whatever, right. any local business owner. That, that is successful running Facebook ads or any type of online ad gives away something of value for free. What you need to be given away is a free seller guide. Okay. You need to go on camera for four to five minutes, talk about selling the process of selling. And, 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 and at the end of every video, at the end of every video, there's a call to action. Hey guys. And don't forget to click learn more where you can download my free 2020 seller guide, where I take you through the entire process of selling your property at the highest value possible in 2020. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. Now talk to you soon. Right. Every video, bro, every video we're giving away. That's, that's, here's what I would recommend. It's better than thank you. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. And, and so here's what you end up, here's what ends up happening. You end up, you end up basing your entire Facebook ad campaign around one topic, which I would recommend either buying or selling. Talk about right. one. Don't, don't flip flop it. Because as right. we're building these custom audiences, I need to know who's who. I need to know who the hell was interested in buying, who was interested in selling. Right. Right. So, so I want to, keep it i want to strategically roll this out and and only focus on one because then it allows me to create content more easily i don't have to keep bouncing back and forth in my own mind trying to create this crap right because it's not easy just to always do video i want to be able to talk about one thing and even though you can do it all you'll get it all you'll have overspill you know a lead will come in from selling but all of a sudden they have a cousin that wants to buy it right you're going to get overspill on no matter what but the content remains on one topic and sure. i'm giving away something for free I'm giving away gotcha. a seller guide. I'm giving away a buyer guide. That's what you need to get your gotcha. hands on. Get your hands on okay. a buyer guide or yeah. a seller guide.
that that yeah. is your bait. So now, now as you create this video content, you're not so aggressive or the message isn't so aggressive because number one, I'm educating you. And then number two, I'm just giving you something for free. Right. And who the hell is going to download a free seller guide if they're not interested one bit in selling? Like, right. Right. Like, right. come on. Like, right. I'm not going to waste my time doing that. I'm a grown ass man. I don't need to download that if that's not what I'm looking for. Right. So you end up capturing these leads of people that are actually downloading your stuff. And again, the psychology of the fact that not only did Pierre educate me via video, but he also gave me something physical and tangible that I can download and put in my hand. This is a good guy. Gotcha. And that, and, and that then person, on top of that, we're, we're, Creating custom audiences from the pixels that are growing on there. Heck yeah, Facebook bro. To, Heck yeah. Expand. Heck yeah. And then on top of that, on top of that is that when they download your, when they go to your opt-in page and they download your guide, they click, they put their name and email, they click download, they go to the next page. On that thank you page, I don't know if your KV Core allows this, but it, it I don't, I, I don't know. I haven't looked at it in a while, but on that thank you page, what I would recommend is, is a video. So a video, so they come to your page, they download the PDF, they click submit, send it to me now, they go to the next confirmation page, and that confirmation page is a video on Pierre. Hey guys, this is Pierre. Thank you so much for downloading my free 2020 seller guide. I just wanted to personally introduce myself and, and, and tell you thank you. Let me tell you a little bit about this 2020 seller guide and what is involved. And by the way, I just sent you an email, so you'll have it in your inbox. A quick 60 second video. Yeah. Number one. I saw that on your video yesterday. That's, right? Uh, that lady about the house and everything else. Yeah. Yes, man. That's powerful. And, and but but my point of doing of doing that is the fact that in that video there's a call to action. There was a there was a call to action in the in the ad, and that was to download my PDF. Once you downloaded it, you hit you hit a confirmation page, and then there was another video of me with a call to action. Not only am I introducing myself, not only am I saying thank you for downloading it, not only am I telling you to check your email because I just emailed it to you, but number four, most importantly, I'm telling you to book an appointment. Click the link below. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So now sorry, we- Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry about this. So it looks like the landing page can have the video, right? This is, this is, this is how you build out your landing page. You can customize all this content here. And the video is there. And I think uh, there's, a, let me see, video view is video plus lead. Let's take a look. See if that video can be on the thank you page. Um, you know, I haven't seen a thank you page on here. That's the thing that I'm wondering if it sends it to a thank you page. That, that thank you page is everything. And, and when I looked at this before, which was probably like a, like a year ago, yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't find that either. Because once, once a person opts in, then it takes them straight to to what your like IDX page or something like that. Like yeah. it takes them straight to. Yeah, it takes them to something, right? There's like, uh... See, that's that, and that 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 was the one problem that I had with this system, and I just didn't know if it was the same, because that thank you page that's the most important. My pixel needs to go on that page. Right, right. So yeah, so I got to figure out a better landing page that can work with this, I guess, because these because these are more like landing pages that are take take them directly to. I mean, look, you put your YouTube, the URL where you want to take it to, uh, uh, maybe. URL after login. Okay. okay. So, yeah. So then that, so I got to create a thank you page. Yeah. So, so I got to just go into my pages and create a thank you page is what I got to do. Okay. Yes. That thank you page. Okay. But, but again, All the right. call to action on the thank you page is to click the button and, and you should be able to put a button. I don't know if you can put a button, but it'd be, it'd be really you know, good if you can put a button because all that is, is I'm trying to get you on the phone, man. Like yeah. you just downloaded my seller guide. Let's, let's, let's talk. And so that thank you page gives you um, um, a chance to get them to schedule a call. But if they don't schedule a call on the thank you page, then it's your email automation. That's why it's step five. It's so important. The emails that follow, that's why the emails that follow, if you were giving me a seller guide, there needs to be a handful of emails that follow. And those emails should talk about the seller guide. Right. And in those emails, there's a link to your calendar. So for example, I come to your page, I download your seller guide. Right away, I'm going to get an email for that seller guide. It's a PDF. So I'm going to get it, the consumer, I'm going to get that, that seller guide. But tomorrow, automatically, I'm going to get another email from Pierre. Hey, David, this is Pierre. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, thank you so much for downloading your seller guide yesterday. Hope you're enjoying it. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about 
landscaping and curb appeal, here's what I meant by it. And that's an automated email. And in that email, a couple sentences based on what is in the book, a couple sentences. And then in the email, there's a link. Hey, John, and by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best call. Can't wait to talk to you, John. Have a great day. Right. Two days later, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, just want to follow up with Pierre. Hey, remember a couple of days ago, you downloaded my, my seller guide. Hey, remember at page nine when I was talking about renovating your kitchen? Here's what I meant by it. Yeah. So that no, dude, email. I'm, I'm on point. I get it. You know what I mean? I get it. Yeah, 100%. It's just, yeah, it's, 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 it's like the could be model, right? You just give them a 10 cent intro to get them to come watch the rest of the show, right? So. Yes, man. Um, all right. So here's, a, so here's where I can make the thank you page. And it doesn't look like I can, it looks like I can put a URL. So it's another link. Um, I got to call them and see if I can put a video because I know in my, in my templates, in my email templates, mm -hmm. um, I, I can put video, right? So that's not a problem. So uh, like if they clicked on it, they'd get an email with a thank you, but I want a thank you page to land on with a video on it. Right. Yes. So, yes. All right. So and I got to call them and ask them about the custom page and about embedding a video in that. And your pixel on that, on okay, the thank yeah. you page pixel on that as well. Yeah. Got so you. feel free to reach back out to me, man. Figure that part out and then, you know, maybe we can jump on another call. But uh, besides all this, that next ad, bro, is that like ad. Okay. So I'll set that up right now. That's easy but, to do. But you cannot target just your local area. You have to target everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of home ownership. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. not a problem. I'll get that done right away. Sounds all good, right. man. So reach out to me anytime, brother. All right, man. Thank you again okay, for your time. Appreciate it. You're very, it. very welcome. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Right.